Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I've had a long hiatus, about two months without posting. Last you saw was just about to do my triathlon race. Race went well. What ended up happening was I was overtraining into the event and I ended up really damaging my testosterone levels from the overtraining and I let go of the YouTube as a result, got the race done and I placed about 170th out of 360. I am training for the 70.3 in Vancouver, BC. That's the next race. So that was the whole reason why we started the triathlon series is the road towards that race. That's May 29th. The focus of this video is however from being an investor to a full-time options trader. Don't forget to drop a like for me if you wanna see more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments what you enjoy more. Is it the triathlon training or the, or the trading content? I plan on posting a lot more focused around finance and trading to help you guys actually grow your accounts. That was the whole purpose of me starting the channel in the first place was to post more content to educate people through showing my own journey so that way people can learn from the mistakes I make or the things I do well. And I've shared that plenty of times in, the, in previous videos if you go back when I talked about all the stock videos. I wanted to just document all the moves I made, the good moves and the bad moves so you could learn from what I did and take that and apply to your own account because that's what I love seeing. I always wanted to see someone else showing what they're doing for their trading so that way I could learn from it. And on this channel, you're gonna be able to do that. So subscribe if you wanna be seeing exactly what I'm doing throughout my journey to continue to grow my net worth and grow my trading account to achieve financial freedom. If you're not, if you're not interested in that, then you can click away, no problems there. The next video I post is gonna be all technical. I'm gonna go on the charts. I'm gonna go on my accounts. I'm gonna show you my strategies and how I live off of my trading income now. If your goal is to do the same, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to subscribe and look out for the next video coming out in a few days. For the rest of this video, let's just discuss what I learned throughout the whole process. I had a bunch of emotional roller coasters, a bunch of ups and downs since I started investing in 2018. How it started with me is I personally started researching about one or two hours a day on the stock market in 2018, researching different companies, researching different opportunities, and it was something I just fell in love with. So I added it to my daily routine. I was running my coaching business while also taking an hour or two every single day to get caught up on the stock market and see how things are moving and just familiarize myself over time. And this point in time, I've read over 20 books related to stocks and I've had countless hours on charts, on researching companies over the years. And this is only over about a three year span. I, I've spoken with other traders and other investors over the years to shortcut my learning curve. And this is what I what I hope to do for you. Once I discovered Tesla stock as the best opportunity for myself to invest in, in early 2019, I focused on getting as many shares as I could and use my income to fuel that while keeping expenses low. Now doing that over, over two years, constantly acquiring shares, it built up to a certain point now where I can now use other strategies and leverage that amount of money to generate income by selling options. And we're gonna talk about that in the next strategy in the next video. At the end of the day, we all need capital to start off our trading careers or investing careers. So at the beginning, our focus should be on using our job or using our business to earn enough income and keep expenses low enough to build up that nest egg to get to 10 or $100,000. And then at that point, when you have you know, somewhere between 10 and $100,000, it makes sense to focus more on, okay, how can I get great outsized returns with this money? But at the beginning stages, you know, if you're in your teens or your early 20s, the biggest focus should be on getting the income up so that way you can get that nest egg built and then continue to keep the job while doing the trading or investing on the side so that way you're not in a bad place mentally. Because what, what tends to happen with too many people, and I've seen it over the years, is they'll get a certain amount of money and then they'll quit the job and cut off all income while having you know anywhere from like 10 to $20,000. And that puts so much stress on you to get those outsized returns. And that can be beneficial because of the analogy of burning all the boats. You don't have a plan B, so you have to make it work. But at the same time, it can screw up your trading, causing you to take much more emotional decisions because you really have to get those returns each month to survive and pay for your expenses. So in my opinion, the best combination is to at least have a certain level of income to cover your expenses while focusing on the trading to blow up the account. 
because at least your mind is at ease and you can focus on building your strategy and focus on improving your mindset. If you go fold cold turkey and you just cut off all other income, well, you might have $3,000 coming out of, your, out of your account each month and you're trying to focus on making enough to cover that and grow your account. It's, it's an uphill battle. So at least what I think is the best case scenario is to keep the job until you at least have over $100,000 and you've proven yourself to be a consistently profitable trader over multiple months, not just one month, multiple months. Once you have that, then I think it's a valid uh, question to ask yourself, hey, maybe I can go full-time now. And I'm only saying that out of a place of, of heart because I don't want you to make a full transition and then either one, lose the money or get yourself into a really bad emotional state and then lose the money because you're in a bad emotional state. So that's just my two cents. I just wanna say thank you for all the support you guys have given me over the past couple of years on the channel. I've had a lot of you reach out to my Instagram and if you're not following me there, you can follow me. It's at Anthony underscore Pietrovano where I post daily on my story and every few days on my feed. So if you have any questions, message me there on Instagram. Again, it's at Anthony underscore Pietrovano. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.